Hi, my name is Jerry Vargas and today I'm going to show you how to set up a connection with, with a Siemens S1200 and an Arduino Nano Shield with Ethernet. Okay, uh, we're going to use an industrial Ethernet switch here at the top and our Arduino Nano with Ethernet Shield. Okay, also a Siemens PLC. That's a cool. This is uh, what we're going to do in this class. Okay. Turn on a digital output using the values for in a pot. Okay. Let's begin. Okay. Open the Arduino IDE and we're going to include some libraries. Okay. The Etern Ethernet Car Library also include the the Modbus library also include the, the Modbus IPE ENZ uh, 28J60H library. Okay, and we're gonna add some some variables. Okay, this is the the Modbus address we're gonna use. Basically, it's this is mm -hmm. ten. It's gonna be thirty one hundred one. Okay. Also add the word sensor pin. Okay. It's gonna be the analog input zero. Okay, also an object, our Modbus IP object, and also our timer, it's gonna, that we're gonna use. Okay, now let's go to the boy setup. Okay, we're gonna add some serial debugging to, to see the values, it's optional. Mm -hmm. If you want to see the values, also the uh, we're gonna add a Mac. Okay, you can type anything. I'm gonna type some some words. Okay, you can type anything basically. Zero x e e zero x e d okay don't forget to count and to see one two three four five six okay don't forget that now let's add the ip address mm -hmm. the ip address then we're gonna send these values to our object, okay, to configure the object, okay. Now we're gonna add some this uh, the value of the sensor pin to our register, okay, in the address. Uh -huh. Okay, now we're going to update the milliseconds at the beginning. Okay, now let's go to the void loop. We're going to use an MD task to update. See? Okay. Then we're going to update and compare our values every two two seconds okay we're gonna update this okay every two seconds okay now we're gonna add also our register to update with the analog rate on our sensor pin 
Okay. Values from 0 to 1044. Okay, we're gonna also print this in the in the serial. Okay, because we want to see the values. And that's it. Let's, let's give it a name. Or do we you know multiple class? Okay. Since pin is not declared. Okay, let's see. Problem. Okay, let's go. Now download. Okay, let's download. And we're gonna see if if the want to pin to the device okay 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 now let's it's okay let's go to the to the PLZ okay now let's we're gonna add a, a new block and FB it's going to Arduino MB okay now let's click OK now we're gonna add Go to the instruction communication, others, multiple TCP, multiple client. Okay, now use multi instance uh, re IQ always true, always false, multiple mode zero. Okay, um, the address is going to be this value because of this okay now that length is going to be just one value okay and mb data ptr let's add any block at that base okay and we're not just arduino info data okay click okay it's going to add click right click properties uncheck optimize block access okay and we're gonna add some values okay Arduino one for example it's gonna be type stroke okay we're gonna see configuration okay and this is gonna be the TCON IPv4 version 4 okay here we're gonna add the the device Hardware ID, okay, 64. We type 64 ID. We're gonna type any any number, okay. We're gonna type two, for example, okay. This time we're gonna type two. Remove address, the Arduino address, okay. Don't forget to check out. If Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We remove address the the universal modbus port, local port, and also don't forget to add. Um, it's gonna be the value. Okay, everything's fine. Don't forget to compile. Okay, fine. Now let's add. Let's go, we'll go back to the function block. Arduino data mm -hmm. and value. Okay, now let me connect Arduino data and configuration. Okay, we're gonna add a status. Okay, local now. Uh, we're gonna move this 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 value to uh, another type. Okay. Uh -huh. It's gonna be a. Uh, mm -hmm. 
we're going to move, okay, to um, let's sample this, okay, and in this compilation, we're going to compare it, okay. So this value if it's int okay and we're gonna add so an output okay now let's add this function block to our main main task okay now let's download okay we initialize loading configuration this will take some time okay now let's go online go online and right click on the block open and monitor okay we are within some values okay display for my decimal 440 okay it's fine i'm going to move the potential another a little bit okay It's updating, it works. If I change the values, of course, it's turned off. Turn on, turn off. 